All right, the show is Alice Isn't All There, and, and we've got the adults who are in charge of the production, some of the behind the scenes as well, in addition to, to being actually out front as well. Angela Dwyer, yep. you're, you're in charge of what, the, the music, or, right? Yeah, um, R had all these ideas in his head and came to my house and sang his melodies, and then yeah. I putzed and put them on the music mm -hmm. and added chords, and uh, my husband was awesome about putting music into the computer, and we printed it out, made music scores for the kids and the rest of the crew, I should say, not just the kids. And um, then I taught them the music. So you had to write songs for this? Yeah. I mean, it was all in his head, and I, mm -hmm. I put it out on paper. Okay. Yeah, so we gave it life. We gave yes. it life. Yes, and, and I'm sure there's some crazy things in his head. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, it was it was a lot of fun to do, and it, I think it came together quicker than we thought it would. Uh-huh. So, just, that yeah, was Yes, I mean, it's the way that you work together, and we do work extremely well together. Yeah. You know, it's just like, um, she, I mean, I don't have to really work very hard. She goes, I got it, I got it, and she'll just once uh -huh. more, she'll go, this or that, you know, are, are we in a G or a C, you know, it, but it, it went very quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, so, in that process, it made it made it effortless, and and so you can do more if you have a good synchronicity with your partnership. You can do you can accomplish so much more. And then we take the music that she and her husband then have to take. Uh, she writes it all down by hand. Yeah. Then they put it into a program, and then he types it out so that it comes out. Um, what do you call that? A score. Uh, yeah, it comes out as a score, and it comes out. Uh, you know, in a professional way. That, right. And then we give it to Pat. Right. Who has to, he records it, plus he takes the music, and then he orchestrates it. Now, now as far as the music goes, Pat, how much of this show is is live music? Are you, this is all pre-recorded music? All the, or, the orchestration is pre-recorded. Okay. The singing will be live. Okay. There might be some stuff. We might yeah. add, because I'll bring some instruments. I might add. Uh-huh. Because he's our orchestra. He's actually sitting, uh, left of the stage, stage left, uh -huh. and he's set up with his computer and so forth and a keyboard and several instruments. So he plays what he's created. And but then I can add it during the show yeah. with other stuff. And do you do you think, I mean, having done this for, for so many years, R, do you think 20, 25 years ago, how much more of a job would this have been <laughs> oh, than it is today? We couldn't have done it, actually, to be honest. We, yeah. we, we just couldn't have done it because... We would have had to have hired a, a full orchestra, right? You know, and, and uh, because of today's technology, if there's something that's changed, say we change a key, a mm -hmm. singer can't sing it, we have to change it a key. Uh, change a key. He does that within a few strokes on a keyboard, mm -hmm. as opposed to having to rewrite yeah. every single instrument's part. I mean, it's 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 kind of a nightmare to think about it. <laughs> but the the exciting part is is that it's actually taken. The process even further though what we can do musically because uh, you not only have the instrumental uh, he adds sound effects as well and okay. birds <laughs> that fly and so I mean it's like you know it's just like unbelievable applause. Applause. Yeah, the applause, yeah. in case the audience doesn't <laughs> <laughs> how many people are involved in the production of this not just the cast but the people behind the scenes well we have 11 people in the cast and behind the scenes what uh, uh, another uh, another seven people, seven or eight. Yeah. We have an executive producer with Father Michael O'Donnell. That's my twin. Mm -hmm. We also have um, uh, Helen, who is in the office. We have uh, who manages the office. We have um, Sheila um, Lemire. Yeah. Right. Lemire. She is our box office and house manager, um, and then uh, just the technical aspects. What Pat and. Uh, Alina and Dominic. Alina, Alina Rule is our stage manager, pr production stage manager. Uh, Dominic Solis is our um, production coordinator. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if I Steve Chambers. Chambers. Steve Chambers is our designer. So we have a beautiful set, beautiful right. costumes. My uh, mom, Ann Lacerdo, did the Alice's two hair Alice's. costumes. Yeah, because you have a, um, uh, uh, our contemporary Alice is kind of goth. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It is a Halloween show, <laughs> yeah. so it's a, she's kind of in a goth out, gothic outfit, and our Victorian uh, Alice, although it's a very Tim Burton-esque, it's 
black and white with mm -hmm. the purple um, bows and stuff. But it's a more Victorian outfit. So, but her mother did a great job. I mean, so and then there's Anne Roberts, who is our wardrobe mistress, who is uh, does a lot of the sewing. Mm -hmm. um, I know I'm leaving people out because it really it's a it's a huge team. I'd say that about about 20, 25 people that are working on this show nice. to bring it, uh, bring it. Because we not only uh, are, we not only had to write write a show and put it together because we were originally going to do Godspell, yeah. but it, it would it would have cost us we couldn't afford it to rent it. Right. It was like three or four thousand dollars. So I said, well, I was writing this one show. I'm, I'll just we're going to write this. So in two weeks, I <laughs> I wrote yeah. this show, yeah. and uh, and um, uh, we had to build the theater too. I mean. Mm -hmm. it's, Let's plug my husband, Chris Dwyer, as technical, Chris, technical director. director. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's not forget him. Yeah, no, His, exactly. Uh, he did the measurements for the staging and everything like that. So, Will we have more of these shows to come in oh, the future? We're going to have season after season. Our next show is already in development, and we're almost done. Uh, we'll be casting it soon. Again, okay. out of the community, it's a, um, it's a uh, uh, Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Okay. Redone, uh, called A Creepy Christmas Carol. By Brasilia R. Creep, and uh, it's uh, Scrooge and his three ghosts are back. It's the ghost have been there, done that. The ghost of Christmas presents. She <laughs> thinks that she's supposed to get presents. She doesn't realize it's the ghost of Christmas presents. Okay, right. And the ghost of Oh No, You Didn't. <laughs> anyway, but it's really a lot of fun, a lot of audience participation in that one. I actually mounted that one before in Fort Towns, and it was a huge hit. We sold out and everything. And really well received so it should be fun to see mm -hmm. how that is okay it begins october 10th three consecutive fridays and saturdays do you know the date specifically anyone? 10th 11th 17th 18th 24th 25th. 25th you got it there yes brownpapertickets.com we can get tickets there or you can come out night of the show at the door at the door right yeah alice isn't all there, there it in is. augensburg yeah it's gonna be a great show thanks for coming in oh you thank bet. you, you bet.